Hey, what's going on, fam? It's your sister Michelle here. Did another video. You know, I've been missing in action. I miss you all so much. I'm sorry I've been gone. I told you technical difficulties. I know I need to step my game up. I keep telling you that I'm used to using my phone. Maybe I need to get a camera and all that. I keep saying that. But like I said, this works for me. I don't know. Maybe I don't want to go through the process trying to learn all this new stuff. It took me a long time to learn this little bit that I'm doing. Let's see, sister. Not that technically inclined. <laughs> but, I, you know, we'll see. I love you all so much, and I'm wishing you nothing but love and light on your beautiful journey. You deserve it. You're wonderful, phenomenal, sexy, brilliant, smart, better off without a narcissist in your life. Okay? Yes, I know it's rough. The healing journey ain't easy. But you got this. Okay? Because you got it going on. Yes, you're wonderful people. Trust me. Just dealt with the wrong person. I'm going to keep telling you that. I'm going to keep giving you flowers because you deserve it. And I love you so much. Mwah. This video right here. Now, we've talked about karma a lot. And the reason why I'm bringing this up again, huh? well, it's because we always want to know if that's so true. And it's really because I had someone say to me in a comment. Well, several people say to me in comments. People talk about karma or I have spoke about karma. And that's not necessarily true. The narcissist doesn't always get karma. That's not necessarily true. Well, I beg to differ on that. Let me tell you why. Now, we can agree to disagree. You know how we do on this channel? We don't talk bad about each other. We all have our own opinions, We, but we go through the same thing. We have love for each other so we can agree to disagree. But I will give you this point of view of how I see it. Of course, a narcissist always gets karma. And the reason why I say that, too, is not just because they're narcissistic. I'm talking about people, period. What you put out, you do get back. Now, what happens a lot of times, fam, is that we don't see it. Like I said in another video, we're not witnessing it. Some of us never get to witness it. Just like you know, guess what? I'm going to say it to you like this. You can't see air, but you're breathing. Right? Just because you don't see something happen, you can't see something, doesn't mean it's not occurring. You know what I mean? It's the same kind of thing. You can't see air. But you can breathe it. So you can't really understand how that's possible because we can't see air. But it's happening every breath we take. And the same thing with a narcissist. You just can't see it all the time. Doesn't mean it's not there. It's not happening. A lot of us get witnessed. You know, we get the chance to witness the karma the narcissist gets. That some of us do not. We do not. But the thing that I've told you once before, that when you met the narcissist, the karma, they were they were already running from karma when they got with you. You are the one that saved them from a lot of that. Yeah. Your good graces, because guess what? God, the divine, whatever you believe in the universe, whatever you know, whatever you believe in, believe in is strong, doesn't want to have to make you be punished for this person's actions. So really, they're saved because of your grace and how you are as a person. Wonderful, strong, phenomenal, all the things that you do, trying to be decent. Not perfect by any means, but trying to love and be decent. Why should you be punished for that? So whatever you believe in, it would I, it doesn't allow for you to have to go through the full effect of what they deserve. We save them from that. Karma absolutely happens. It doesn't just happen because you're narcissistic. Well, they get it double time because of what they put out. But anything that you put out or I put out, I've told you stories about it, definitely. Guess what? I have had karma that nobody even knows about. Now, I've told you little stories on here that you all know about, of course. So you kind of know what happened. But there are things in my life that has happened years ago, whatever, that I did receive karma from. You know what I'm saying? But other people would never know that. But I know it. Right? Can you relate to that? You know, we ain't always been perfect. Look back at some of the stuff we did. Right? Look at some of the stuff that we done from our lifetime. And realize how if you really look at it, you'll be like, oh, man, I should have done that. This happened. You, it, it, you ruminate back to it. Nobody might not know at all. But you know, right? I'm telling you. Happened to me all the time. Well, I'm going to say all the time. All the time when I've done bad things that I had no business doing, you know, throughout, throughout my life. I have reaped that shit. The people that I might have done certain things to when I was younger and stuff, they don't know it. Because I never went and told them. But guess what? It happened. I seen it firsthand. And I'm, like I said, I know you can relate to it if you really think about it. So if you think a narcissist doesn't get karma, they absolutely get karma. They're karma walking. You were the only thing that saved them from it. You just don't always see it, baby, but it is happening. It's happening. It was happening when you met them. 
That's why they, they exchange people so much trying to run away from that empty feeling and all the shit they know they've done. They can't face it. They don't like to be responsible. They don't like to be held accountable. You know what I'm saying? That's the difference in it. That's why it seems different. See, when I made my mistakes, I knew and I had the consciousness to say, I did this. I had to be accountable for it. So I recognized it as exactly for what the what it was. They don't see it that way. They try to mask it and run from it and find someone else to make it seem like it's gone away. That's how they play the game. But trust me, it's still it's not it's not gonna change. The karma for a narcissist is happening, has happened. Or will happen. You just might not be witness to it. But trust me when I tell you, it is going on. It is going on. It's the golden rule of life. This to your sister. You cannot put out stuff and don't expect it to come back. And if you put out good, good things happen to you. Guess what? The same way that goes too. You know how you do a lot of positive things and you be like, I don't care how good I am. It seems like, you know, I never get it back. But eventually something good does happen. It doesn't happen right away, but it eventually starts to happen for you. And then you can look back and say, you know what? I was blessed because I tried to do this. And you can recognize it when it comes. Listen to me when I tell you, it's the golden rule of life. No one, narcissistic or non-narcissistic, can get away from that. Trust me when I tell you that. Right is right and wrong is wrong. And when you do wrong shit, wrong shit happen. Good stuff, good stuff happen. You just might not always see the shit. But trust me, it does happen. Okay, listen to me. Trust me, I won't take you wrong, and I love you so much. Karma is served up for the narcissist on a silver, broken, glass, wooden platter. I don't care what kind of platter it is. Hell, a paper plate, who gives a damn? Listen to your sister. It's served to their ass. The same thing that we have to go through, too. Karma is not a joke. It does happen. It's just not, <laughs> you might not be seeing it, but maybe if you're lucky, you yeah, will see the shit. So you can get your good damn laugh there, ass. I said it. You too. Don't block me. I love y'all. Karma's real, y'all.